over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show right here at TFNN every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also, it's a great newsletter. The opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You go under newsletters. You're going to see the opening call on the left-hand side. You just hit that view button on the opening call. You're going to hit subscribe. And uh, bottom line is you're going to you not only get a, whoa, how did I go? Uh, there we go. <laughs> and so you can get the opening call for one month, folks, for $149. You can get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. And you can get it for one year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 at 33%. Now, once you get it, folks, you get on Basil's page. Bottom line, he has approximately 10 to 11 archives there that you'll have a great education to understand how he looks at the market every day, how he can ride the Chapman wave each and every day. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I'm doing well, but this market has just been struggling. It hasn't broken down. It hasn't broken out. It is just struggling here. If we can consider no it as buyers. a consolidation. Yeah. yeah, if we consider it as a consolidation, that's one thing. But, you know, after consolidating, you've got to make a commitment. So for me, uh, the, the price movement in the Dow, it's so interesting for three days now, we've been so close, even intraday, the nine-period moving average that I follow very closely, just for more for confirmation than anything else of a trend, went green from the pink. Pink is negative. It means it's under the 14-period moving average. Over the 14, it turns green. Yesterday, it went green just momentarily. Today, this morning, during my show, it went green. And I said, let's see if we can hold all the way through the day. No, it hasn't held because now the Dow's down 138. And within the patterns that I look at, you can see there's sort of, it's like a large rectangle. And within it, there's an arch formation. It has been making higher highs and higher lows since the high that was made at 31,885, round about at just at the end of June. And then it pulled back quite sharply. So this is an important pattern. And what's very interesting is that even intraday, you know, I like to look at arches and cups and arches and cups because that's what the market is made up of all the time. But even in today, we're looking at, this is the 10-minute E-mini, and it went from a high around about 3 o'clock uh, this morning, Eastern Time, at about 38, somewhere around 38.60. And then it came down, 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 made a low at about 4 o'clock this morning. And then almost in the same, the equal amount in a cup formation, it went back to the high and it broke out of it just briefly in the 10-minute bar. And that was the high of the day, 38.76. And then it pulled back. And look, what's the reason why I brought this up is I don't want to see the low that was made just the other day and the Dow taken out because you can see in this arch formation, we had almost within three bars, a 10-minute bar from 3 o'clock this morning to 3 o'clock this afternoon. We went all the way to the top, and the same number of bars, we came down, and we just touched that left side low. So you can see within the rectangle, there's this arch formation. So that's what I don't want to see in the Dow. Let me go back to the Dow right there. And that's this inside part. I don't want to see it arch over and come back. So at this particular point, I've said that 30,900, perhaps 800, that's really a serious cushion as far as I'm concerned in the short term. I want to see a break within the next few days of the high of, that was made the other day of 31,511. So that's the Dow. But what's really interesting is that you've got all these different patterns. We do. I mentioned the other day when we were, you interviewed me, that we had a, a stock called Sun Opta Inc. I like for my subscribers to have all different prices for entry levels of, of positions that we take. In this case, it was an entry level at about eight. Um, and uh, it's, it's plant, food-based foods, beverages, organic ingredient sources, non-GMO food products, and packaging. So this stock's STKL is trading at 887. And you can see what's really important in this particular environment I look at what stocks are holding well when the market pulls back. So, so far, this has done this cup formation. You can see in the daily chart, it's gone to a leg E and then a little doji peak E, which meant that I had to be a little careful. We've taken some profits, nice percentage gains on this. But I'm watching it closely because here it is. In this environment, it's up $0.04 cents at 8.86. Uh, 
So, and it's got a leg D in the weekly chart, beautiful cup formation. Here again, you've got your left side, right side price, time match, the 9.01 was the target back in October uh, the 21st. That was the high that I chose as this cup formation, and we've gotten to it, and it's holding quite well. So I'm being very selective for subscribers. We've got, uh, we've got a big cash position. We're putting money to work, but very selectively. Um, it's, you, we still long that dollar. We did take something off yesterday from the UUP, which is the dollar bull uh, fund uh, that we've been in since 2018, since April. Um, at 108.56, the dollar high today is in a leg E. It's done this one-to-one -one expansion to the upside. But the MACD is still strong in the stochastics at 89% in the daily chart. The weekly chart is still 88% in the in the stochastic. MACD is strong. And the monthly chart is still expanding in the, the nine period moving, the differential in the MACD is still expanding. And it's flat in the stochastic at 88%. I love flat. Flat in the 80 88 to 90% area is really good. So I'm watching the dollar closely because this is normally I'd be saying, hey, this is about it. This is probably an area that it should be topping, but so far the technicals are still very strong, and that that would be a clue to some change in the market. But if this is still holding well, that's I I don't know if that's going to be it. So I'm watching it closely, and um, trying to put cash to work, but being very very selective. You know, it's interesting, Basil, is that you know the the equity you brought up that uh, Sun Opta. Yes. Yes. It's pretty cool, folks, okay? So, picture it, of course, Basil is from Newton. I'm from South Boston. We, we Kendall Square. That's where all the biotech started. That's why there's, yes. there's so many other biotechs that are there. And I was just looking at the company you're talking about, right? And it's pretty cool. That's in Minneapolis. And what, where all our foodstuffs, folks, come from the Midwest. Midwest, you got, correct. You got General Mills is in Minneapolis, too. And then you got Kellogg in Battle Creek, Michigan, right? You know, so I was looking at that. So it's pretty cool. You can see that wherever, you know, you have that type of brains, then they start these other companies, too. It's pretty cool, man. And, I mean, and, it's, and in a way, you're... you're I wouldn't be just like the oil companies at some point are going to take over more and more of the uh, of the battery, the EV market. Right. I'm sure they're going to have no choice but to do something there. So this is kind of a niche. It's really a very important that you brought out a very important point because this is an important niche in the food market. Right. For many for many reasons. But the reason why I got into it, uh, as I said, people who buy this particular product. I don't think they affect it quite as much by cost because it's a choice that they're making. So that just said it gives me a little bit of a cushion. But so far, it's acting very well. Yes. Sweet. you love it. Listen, folks, you can come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into the newsletters. You'll see the opening call right on the left-hand side. You hit that button. Subscribe. It comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks. So it's a great deal. And, of course, we get a great trade markets. Basil, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you very much, Tom. You too. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.